If you feel that your life is dull, humdrum, and grey, be thankful. <laughs> oh, God! Four down, three letters, animal. Well, that could be difficult, couldn't it? Three letters. Emu, cow... No, it says feline. You didn't say that, did you? <laughs> feline. Dog. Cat. <laughs> Pardon? Cat. Cat. Mm, well, dog starts with a D, this starts with a C. Yes, but you didn't give me the facts, did you? <laughs> I mean, it could be anything. I mean, uh, that C could be cow. Not with an A in the middle. You didn't tell me that either, did you? <laughs> C-A. Car? A car isn't an animal. That one of ours is. It's a pig. <laughs> no, that's no good. That starts with P. Is that the Times? No. You know that one, three, down, five letters, brother and sister, born at the same time? That was twins. <laughs> I put that in. No, you put twits. <laughs> I was thinking of us. Charming. I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm fed up, I'm fed up. I know. So am I. Get up in the morning, go to bed at night. Same thing, day in, day out. I fed them. You've done what? Fed You've them. fed them? Yes. It's Thursday. It's my turn to feed the animals. <laughs> That's all. It's just my turn. I got nothing now till 11.15. It's my turn to lock up. Is it? And put the lights out? Yes. That's it then, isn't it? Boredom. <laughs> ten o'clock. Twenty to ten. It's quarter to six. <laughs> Are you sure? He's never been wrong, has he? Yeah, five forty-five. Well, Peter says twenty past nine. Well, Peter, that Swiss twit. <laughs> <laughs> Takes him all this time to get the door open. Well, he's not getting any younger. Not on my hat. It's a bit of wood, isn't it? That's all. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I can just put my coat on. Oh. <laughs> Might take it off in a minute if the mood takes me. <laughs> what did you do that for? Pardon? What did you do that for? It was looking at me. <laughs> and it's all grey, isn't it? It's grey. It should be pink and frothy. Uh, red man. Yeah, that's the red man. And then it'll be the milkman. Then it'll be the paper boy. Then it'll be a penny for the guy and the first Noel. Young conservatives. <laughs> then Happy New Year. Nothing ever happens. Why doesn't something different happen? <laughs> Boredom. Nothing ever happens in this place. Hang on a minute, I know you, don't I? 
Okay, sir, but Ernest. No, no it ain't no, it's Eric. That's right, I'm saying. Eric, yeah, Eric, yeah. I recognise you. Both of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> May I ask who you are? Certainly, darling. This is who I am. Come here. Just, <laughs> come on. Oh, Just oh, give a come here. Please. I don't... Over there. <laughs> Sorry to keep throwing you about, mate, but don't you know who I am? Yeah, why don't you in Peter Pan with a crutch? <laughs> no, I'm Tommy Grando, little Tommy Grando. Don't you remember? Wait a minute, didn't you run away to sea? Yeah, that's right. Tommy Grando. Yeah. Little Tommy Grando. And we all used to play round right the back of the old bakery there. That's right, we did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Little Tommy Grando. Yeah, that's right. Little Tommy Grando. You was always hitting me, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, well, it's done you good, hasn't it? I mean, look at you now. Don't I say all the time, I wish somebody had taken the trouble to hit me more often. Well, it's never too late, mate. No, no. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? No, thanks, lad. I never go near tea. I don't like it. I drink this here special brew of my own. <laughs> Have a swig of that, me old China. That'll blow the back of your shirt up. <laughs> That. Yeah, but you're drinking it the wrong way. You're not getting the benefits, mate. If you let it go down like that, it'll evaporate before it gets done. <laughs> what you've got to do, you've got to take a swig like that and give it a well in the back of the neck and get down the tubes down there. <laughs> you pull that and go straight down the legs in the flabber neck of your because that's right. Straight down the tubes. Marvel. I didn't know. <laughs> Try it now. Try it. I thought you were a mason. That's it now. <laughs> What's in that? Uh, in here, scotch, gin, aftershave. <laughs> We'd added boot polish. Man, that's poison. Yeah, but it's good for you. Oh, look at the way it's making your eyes shine. Thanks to added boot polish. Ah. <laughs> uh, do you remember one cold winter's night when we was all standing round the back of the old bake house down? Yeah, wait a minute, we used to stand there every night. You were not on Sunday. Where did we used to stand Sunday? Oh, we used to stand in different places. Ah, I never. But where did you used to stand? You are asking a lot of questions, aren't you? <laughs> no, it's just that we missed you. Well, you remember I always used to pump the organ on Sundays, you remember that? Five years I pumped away that organ. Good heavens, five years. Yeah. My one regret is that I had to give up my music. <laughs> you were very musical. Oh, yeah. Well, once you got it, you know, got to hear, you, you stay there, you know. I was the best pu organ pumper in the business. They never had one like me. No. <laughs> I can tell you, it's clear as a bell now. There was, uh, tw 23 pumps, slow pumps, for a bite with me. <laughs> and uh, 48 for uh, Rock of Ages. <laughs> and not many people know that, you know? No, I didn't know that. 48 for Rock of Ages. That's in the Guinness Book of Records, that is. <laughs> and in the Hallelujah Chorus, whoa, my little arms was a blur. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, wonderful. I tell a lie. It was a Tuesday. What was Tuesday? We were standing against the wall of the old bake house there. You had your back up against a nice warm wall. It was my turn to stand under the window and sniff the smell of the old bread coming through there. Oh, yeah, that was the best place. Yeah. 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 And I looked up at the stars and I said to myself, I promised myself, one day when I was 14, I said, I'm going away to sea. And I'm going to be rich when I come back. I said that. I remember you saying that. Do you? Yes. Yeah. And also said, when I come back, I'm going to be so rich, I'm going to marry you. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> silly things we do when we're kids. <laughs> <laughs> what about Friday, then? <laughs> Friday, a Friday, a, a, we a wedding on Friday. Ah, oh, well, that that might be a little bit tricksy, actually, because I help Mrs. Thompson out on Fridays. <laughs> Listen, my darling, don't you realise that when I was lost in the Gobi Desert for three days, it was your face what kept me going? Oh, no, I don't, I don't think it could have been me, actually. I, I've never been there. <laughs> Don't you like uh, common sailors? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do like common sailors. You like a bit of common sailor, do you? <laughs> no, actually, what I meant was that I have no nothing against common sailors as such. Look, darling, you're not getting out of it now. I'll tell you that straight. Even if I have to carry you to the church, tie it to the rail, and pump the old wedding march myself, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Ah. You should have lifted him up. <laughs> Let's talk this thing over. All right, snap. Right. Yes. Now, Tell the you. thing is... What? I can't marry you and that's that. Right. Why? Why not? Guess one good reason. Give him one good reason, Eric. Give me? <laughs> well, she, she can't marry you because apart from Mrs Thompson on Friday in her bed leg, and she can't because she's already married. Oh, well. If you're already married, where's your husband then? That's a fair question, isn't it? <laughs> Tell him, Eric. Well, uh, how <laughs> would you like to know? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, well, I mean, if he's dead, that's all right. And if he ain't, I'll get a few of the lads to duff him up there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead. He's 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 live and full of fun. He's 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 not far. It's me. I'm a husband. Eric. <laughs> you say, mate? <laughs> You're a brother. I'm, I'm I'm a brother and she's a sister. But she... <laughs> You're a brother. You're her brother. They told me that, that she lived with her, with her brother and her name was Harriet and you lived together. That's what they told me. That's my wife and Harriet's you tell? Well, when's she coming back? I don't know. She's a funny woman. Fuck. <laughs> get out of it. Stupid git. <laughs> well, I'll wait for her then. Wait. Well, she may not come back today or she may not come back tomorrow. We don't know when she's going to be back. Well, that's all right. I've got plenty of time, haven't I? <laughs> she might have emigrated. She was thinking about it. Australia. She walked about with one side of her hat pinned up. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like the exercise. I'll wait for an Australian letter to come then. <laughs> no, but she might, she might not write for a month. Well, don't get excited, mate. If you're a bit skint, I mean, you know, I'm loaded. If you're brassic, I can let you have a score, that's all right. Don't need to worry, I'll have a spare room, that's all right. I'll pay for it. A spare room? Yeah. Borassic. What's brassic, Eric? Cockney rhyming slang. It means borassic powder. I haven't any money. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, suppose you were in her bed and she comes back in the middle of the night. Well, she's going to get a right old surprise then, isn't she? <laughs> 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 without sleep. Eric! Um, what? What? <clears throat> Why didn't you get right inside the bed? No, that is your bed. I don't want to deprive you of it. <clears throat> Eric, what are we going to do about him? Yes, he is a problem, isn't he? <laughs> it wouldn't have hurt you in the first place just to marry him a little bit, would it? say I was married to you. I could have just said to him, I won't marry you, and that would have been that. Oh, yes, that would have been that. You did say that, didn't you? Look at the mess we're in. You don't know men, Hat. 
After all those months in a horse latitudes, he would have been a menace. And you don't know about women. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> If a woman says she doesn't want to marry a man, she doesn't marry him. Oh, maid, I had. How would it be if my sister turned up tomorrow and refused to marry him? You haven't got another sister. I'm a twin, remember? Twin. Oh, Eric, not you. Well, who else? I'm more identical to me than anybody I know. <laughs> I can wear... <laughs> Everything all right, Mrs. Hackenschmidt? If it is, it'll be the first time. Try it on. Certainly, madam. In the cubicle. Yes, yes, yes. It won't run, will it? Not if you keep a tight hold on the belt. <laughs> Is this gentleman with you? Good heavens, I hope not. It's... Oh. Oh, dear. She's not ill, is she? <laughs> it's just a joke. It's a pity you have more to do with your time than wander through the ladies' underwear department merely to titillate a jaded appetite. If I had a jaded appetite, I'd go to a restaurant, wouldn't I? I'd have a jaded supper. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see? He's a toucher. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with a man in a dress shop? I shall ascertain about that. I shall certainly speak to the manager. He's a man, isn't he? That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call you exactly feminine. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Pardon? do I look like a dress rail? <laughs> well, come to think of it, you do now. <laughs> now, sir, can I help you? Yes. <clears throat> I want to buy a dress. Uh, a lady's dress. We don't stock any other kind, sir. <laughs> no. I saw one when I came in. It's uh, like a naval motif. Yes. And, and if, if it's right, it, it's one of these, you know. Hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's just a dress you want. It's of course it's a dress. Why else would I come in a dress shop? I don't know. I'm not a psychiatrist. Are you a sassy to all your customers? All my customers don't go round lifting up the skirts of the shop assistant, sir. <laughs> what measurements? Well, something that'll fit me. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Well, you know, I'm buying the dress for my sister, and she's an identical twin, so what fits her fits me. Oh! Well, couldn't she come in herself? Well, no, because she's out buying me a suit. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> <I> uh... <clears throat> well, uh, now then, um... how about this one? Oh, that looks... Oh! It's, it's, um... May I try it on? I think it No, we're identical, you see. To what fits me, we're identical twins in every respect. She must be a funny woman. <laughs> The dress isn't enough. It is now. <laughs> don't oh, don't go in there, sir. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, oh. madam. Now, oh, listen, sir. I didn't... Would you mind oh, 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 sir? The excitement of sending him berserk. Oh. I should call the manager. Oh. 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 Quiet, quiet. Now, what is going on? Oh. Oh, 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 I humbly apologise, Mrs. Hackenschmidt. A disgraceful exhibition. And he's taken my dress. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. You don't think I walked from Kensington Go like this, do you? Oh. <laughs> well, 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 well I, I'm terribly sorry, but, but I can assure you we'll catch him. And in the meantime, what about my dress? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, what a shambles. After today, I shall never have set foot in this store again. Do promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry.
sorry. I'm terribly sorry. Now, Deirdre, Deirdre, ring the house detective. Now, we must watch all the exits. Miss Jones, go down to the front hall and tell Miss Wilkinson... Wish I... Wish... Wish I never left oh, yeah. to have You're trying to get rid of me, darling. Oh, no, 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 nothing. It's just that I don't think you're going to like Harriet. Ah, oh, don't worry about that, love. I like her all right after all these celibate years. <laughs> I even fancy myself. <laughs> yeah, but you, what you don't understand is that Harriet's even worse looking than I am. You're joking. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm serious. Well, look, Mr. Grando, if you don't like Harriet, will you promise to leave us alone? I might. But then again, I might not. Well, supposing I telephone the police? <laughs> now, that would be a very silly thing to do, darling. Because I'm an artist with one of these, ain't I? <laughs> And if the fuzz was to come round here... <laughs> you know what they find, don't you? <gasps> Two little bodies lying all over the floor, covered in tomato sauce. <laughs> and me, I'm halfway to the Spice Islands, ain't I? So you just watch out, darling. Just watch out. It's only a little joke. Funny, funny, <laughs> funny joke. I'll get you something to eat. No, 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 no. I'll get it. You might put something in it. I don't trust you. I'll get it myself. I'll get my own egg and chips. Yeah, but I could always it... taste it for you. I've seen some of your tasting. I'd end up with one chip, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you just stay where you are, darling. And even though I'm going out there, don't try nothing, cos I can suss it, see? <laughs> and you don't want to end up as Exhibit A, do ya? <laughs> right. Watch it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Please? Yes. Could... <laughs> 3.30 precisely. Does that thing always do that at 3.30 precisely? No, you fluster him. You want to try milk in it? It might do something. <laughs> Is Miss Britton? <laughs> and you know something? Yeah. All the way along the high street, a man followed me. <laughs> Rubbish. Ha <laughs> ha, you're jealous. I'm not jealous. Have you seen yourself in that? As a matter of fact, I have. I passed a shop window and I nearly whistled. <laughs> Worries, cos once Tommy Grando sees you in that, he'll be out like a shot. If he is, and I will be. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the kitchen. We are in love with you. <laughs> and Mrs. Grando, this and is this is my sister-in-law, Harriet. Hey? And who is this gentleman? Grando. Tommy Grando. You little Harriet, are you? 
Little Harriet. <coughs> Let's have a look at you. <laughs> yeah, you're lovely, ain't you? <laughs> hey? You're just the sort of bird I've been looking for. <laughs> you're sort of, uh, sort of different, ain't you? Yeah, I'm different, all right. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to marry you cos I never break the promise, you see. It's all right. Oh, no, well, I don't think Eric... Well, Eric's got to give his consent, you see, because uh, he's a guardian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Going. I'm gonna get your brother's permission, ain't I? Yeah, no, no, no. It's, uh, I'll get it, right? No, I'll, 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 I'll get it. No, I'll get it. He knows me. Um. <laughs> what? Well, the fellow here wants me to marry him. Well, you can't, can you? Well, can I? No, you can't. I'll tell him that. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you hear that? Bring him down here. I'll, I'll do the talking. Yeah. Bring him down here. It might be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Bring him down, that's all. Hey, you want to come down? What, now? Yes. Well, now, if you can. Right, I'll come down. Right. Oh. Hello, Hat. Oh, Eric, you're up. Do you feel better? Yes. Surprise on a good lie down will do. Yeah. What do you want? What do I want? What I've got to sell? I'll say to your sister, mate, get out of yeah, the way. No, 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 because she's lying down. She's lying down and all? Yeah. You're right, not a lay about you, lot, aren't you? <laughs> you lying down? Yeah. Come on, let me no, get up. No, now. no, no, I'll, I'll go and get her. She might be half dressed. <laughs> Come on, Harriet, now he wants to see you. Yeah. He wants to see me? Yes, he wants to see you. Listen, I'll tell you something. I'll bet you 50 niggas right. they don't come down together. How about that? Are you on? Right, right. They don't get Are together. you sure he wants me? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't have you, can he? <laughs> Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> Stay in bed. Stay in bed. Right? I'm sorry. I've given... <laughs> I've told my sister she has to stay in bed. <laughs> yes, she has a headache. <laughs> she has a headache and uh, on both sides. And she cannot marry you in any case because of the codicil in my father's will. Codicil? Yeah, page 17 after the bequest. 17 after the bequest? Right. You are identical, aren't you? Well, in certain respects. Yeah, look at that. Give us a... Here, get ah. over there. <laughs> so long with legs, then. Trying to the old double act, are you? Well, took the play of that game, mate. Right. Yeah, right. Right, Mickey. What are you doing with that? Come um, here, look. Uh, that's all you What are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to get out of that... Get him out of that dress and get into it myself. Now, come yes. on. Now, wait a minute. It's my best dress. I don't give a damn about that. Well... Get out of it or get cut out of it. Come oh, on. Oh, well, Eric, get him happy. He can always move and always buy another one. With two apples? <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh, he's going to look a riot on his ship in this, isn't he? Ship? What are you talking about, ship? The only ship I've ever been on is a ferry over from Parkhurst. <laughs> I've just been doing ten years bird, ain't I? What's bird, Eric? Prison, this gentleman. <gasps> You're a convict. Nah, mate. I was, but I went over the wall. And this has been a nice little hiding place, this, hasn't it? See? The fuzz will never find me here. What's fuzz, Eric? Police hat. Police! See? Tommy Grando XCOM walks in. Harriet Sykes, alias me, walks out. Clever, that, eh? Yes. Clever. Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. That's a fuzz. Now look, I'll play dead straight now, I tell you. If you say one word, <laughs> well, I'm here, we'll let all them out there. I'll kill both of you like that, like bleating grease lightning. 
Yeah, but I'll have to let him in, won't I? You'll let him in, but nothing else. <laughs> don't let on the dome out there, will you? No, no. Well, I don't care if fuzz or nothing, I'll come out and come right through you. <laughs> Look at this scent. Are you all right, sir? Never felt better. Lovely day, Constable. <laughs> better. Lovely day, Constable. <laughs> Then his eyes went funny. <laughs> <laughs> and his leg. Can I help you, Constable? <laughs> Will you win the war, sir? <laughs> Sailor. <laughs> Do not wait up for me. I might be a bit late. <laughs> Constable! Oh, yeah. Well, me, Mum. Thank you, Madeleine. <laughs> oh, what a charming lady, sir. Constable! Constable, here you are! This is the person! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the trouble, madam? Oh, sir! Hey! Ooh. Ha! Ah. What's going on here? Ah, the game's up now, Jesse, eh? <laughs> you better come along quietly, haven't you, eh? <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Who went and grasped on me, then? This gentleman followed you from the shop. What shop? The shop you stole this wig and that dress from. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wigs and dresses. I don't go around icing wigs and dresses, mate. I'm a GBH man, ain't I? What's GBH, Eric? Grievous bodily harm. What do you think I am? Some kind of puff or something? I go around stealing wigs and dresses. I done a score at Parkhurst. Two handfuls on the moor. Yeah, the Scrubs, on. DeVille. Come I'm on, the no, best on God. If Mr. Jones is on the bench, he'll get seven days for this. <laughs> you know, you see that grand old too clever by half. If he hadn't pinched my dress with the apples on it and the wig, he could have walked out of here a free man. I'm a bit sorry in a way, Eric. Well, I mean, he had some good points about him, didn't he? Like what? Well, like hanging one on. <laughs> What's hanging one on? Hey! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.